Hello my friends and welcome to Tyria. After killing Mordremoth but losing our dear friend Trehearn, we are in Holbrak to honor Ersh the Kalkin. Now I can't help but wonder though, what happened to Garm? Anyways, thank you for being here. Now do get comfortable and enjoy. She was a dear friend. Let's head up. My people will be glad you're here. Some may have questions about what happened. I hope it's not why. I'm still struggling with that one myself. Aren't we all? Perhaps that's the answer Bram left to seek. He's not here. No. He arranged this and then took to the mountains. The fire inside that boy. I almost feel sorry for any of Jormag's minions he comes across. Sounds like he's working through it in true Bram fashion. Good. Make yourself at home. Your Tribune friend certainly has. Now I'll leave you to it, Commander. Speak with whomever you wish and celebrate, or pay your respects privately. The spirit of air can be found in either. Alright. Join Redlock. So Redlock is already in, huh? She had him dead to rights. We all knew it. And what was he going to do? Beg? Plead? Wasn't his style. And Air wouldn't buy it anyway. So, he just jumped off the ledge. Well, she wouldn't give him the satisfaction of escape, even to his death. She shot him before he hit the ground. <laughs> Damn, that Nord knew how to exact revenge. That's so just true. like her. <laughs> Thank you for that story, Tribune Brimstone. I'm not sure why no one's ever made a tapestry of that moment. Oh, hey, good to see you, Commander. <laughs> you like, oh, hey. Spreading a little air cheer. Well, things are getting too serious. Just ensuring they remember the right air. Hey! You're that Redlock Trombone, the Revenant, right? Close enough. Now why don't you do Uncle Trombone a favor and buzz off? <laughs> but I want to hear about the Blood Legion! <laughs> don't you think quietly weeping in the corner by yourself would be more fun than this? Nah, this is fine. Yeah. <laughs> Have you heard from Zoja Got a fan base. I was crossing my fingers they'd be well enough to make this. Still both laid up on my last visit. Hmm, too bad. Mordremoth's death came with a great toll for sure. You know, with those two out of the field and Snaffanair gone and Kaith, well, there really is no Destiny's Edge anymore. I'm sorry, Ridlock. I know how important it was to you. But there's no sense in looking back. Maybe it's time to start again. Another guild? Would Air? She wouldn't want us to get caught up in her death like she did with Snaps. Regret gets you nowhere. And Tyria would probably sleep more soundly with the Dragon Slayer at the helm of a new guild. We could do a lot of good. It didn't go perfectly, but the small group we had was pretty capable against Mordremoth. What would we call it? Fate's Razor! I will not be part of a guild called Fate's Razor. What about Dragon's Watch? Dragon's Watch. I like that. Makes sense. Can I be in it? No. But I've got my Uncle Beamish's magical sword! Not yet, kid. <laughs> Commander, oh. come see this. Right. What's going on? Hey, it's Rocks and Frostbite. Rest in peace, Ed. And Garm. The mountains. Hear her name until the end of time. Oh, he's filthy. <laughs> Rock, 
Fox. You... you and Garm. Commander, what are you doing here? What did I walk into? A memorial for Air. You couldn't have brought a better gift. Yeah, nice work, soldier. We're both tired and hungry. Wasn't expecting all this. Garm's hurt, too. We should get him healing as soon as possible. What can I do to help? I'll send for a healer. In the meantime, there's plenty of food around. I'll do it. Rocks, you rest. Alright, so we gotta feed Garm, huh? Pretty sure Garm gets... Alright, bub. And something tasty for Garm to eat. Uh, can we kill a rabbit? Uh, there's an understanding of peace at the memorial. Bunnies are not a good food choice. <laughs> okay. Alright, so another rabbit. Got it. Uh, here, we have some meat. <laughs> I love how they actually anticipated that. That was fantastic. Statue of an Asura among our legendary heroes. Alright. Talk to rocks when you're ready. I still can't believe it. How did you find Garb? Tracked him from the crash site. Wasn't easy. The jungle's still crawling with Mordrum. Some of them have come unhinged without their master's Air voice. Good Poor Garm followed Air's scent into the middle of it all. He was lucky to be alive. <laughs> we both are. Bram's going to be so happy when he gets back. He's not here? No, he's in the mountains blowing off some steam. Well, I'll stay with Garm and make sure he's okay. When he's ready, we can try to catch up with Bram. I'm sure the cold air will do Garm some good after all that jungle heat. Yeah, if I never see another pocket raptor as long as I live, I'll die happy. Oh, here, here. Come on. Let's get to what we're here for. Honor air however you want. Okay, so you can actually do a bunch of stuff here. That is awesome. Uh, elder pet healer, let's let's listen in first. You mind bringing some hot water? Garm has blood and dirt caked all over him. You can help me wash him if you'd like. Yes, I will do that. Uh, hot water. Where can I get? That's inside, isn't it? Uh, in our cliff strider? No. Do we have hot water somewhere around here? This looks like hot water, I just can't can grab it. You can rest assured that you are legend to be remembered. Um, uh guys, where where do we have hot water? Was it quick? She died in battle. There was no prolonged suffering. That is still no hot water, though. Like, these are all statues, I can't... Do you have hot water? I love music and spirit moves you, feel free to perform a dance in honor of our departed friend. I mean, I can. Wait, if I do... I should dance now. Oh yeah, that, that ups the, uh... Nice. I still need the hot water, though. Okay, I'm not finding it. Let me just continue on. No. We should admit them. Air had many of the qualities of Snow Leopard. Her stealth was renowned. You are a of the statue. 
Wolf chose Air at a young age. You honor her. This spirit recalls the importance of the pack, and you were part of hers. Those things beautiful work in progress needs a bouquet of flowers. Maybe I got a sec. Okay, so now I need hot water and flowers. Guys. Oh, well, I can I can get the flowers. There we go. Still need the hot water. So this has to have some way of interacting with it, right? Do we need a bucket or somewhere something? Yeah, I have no idea. I would love to help Garm, but I have no idea how to. Uh, midwife Odbeg. Maybe you can explain it. I still don't understand why they didn't bring Air's body back for a proper send-off. We couldn't risk her turning. It's all so her cop Bram took care of her himself. He honored her remains, I assure you. I thought only Silvari were vulnerable to Mordramoth's corruption. Oh, no. Everyone was vulnerable. Anyone, Silvari or not, could be attached to one of their blighting trees. The trees created duplicates of people to serve Mordramoth. It was awful. Oh my. Alright. You know, I've always said she was destined to be the next leader of Ulbrich. I can't believe she's gone forever. She was a powerful ally and a loyal friend. She would have made a Great leader for Holbrack, though. Your craftsmanship does air honor. She was a great sculptor, drawing her inspiration and skill from Raven. Greetings. They say you were there when air met her end. What killed her? It was a powerful dragon minion, one of Mojamot's most dangerous. Abomination. I heard it was the head of the Nightmare Court herself. Is that true? She didn't deal the killing blow. That was a vicious jungle predator called the Vine Tooth. Alright. And last one. gives us our ferocity, and air was loved by Bear. You do her honor and remind us of our gifts from all the spirits. Okay, so I, I still didn't find hot water, though. I feel like a failure. Anyways. Let's continue. Everyone, lend us your ears. The one who killed Zaitan with airs to Gawken would like to say a few words. We've all lost people we loved. And the pain of that can be distracting. But we can't let the pain stop us from moving forward without them. Without her. Instead, we honor, celebrate her life. The gift that she was. Air is a part of me. A part of us all. How do we dignify that? By living the rest of our own lives larger, better, bolder. We love, we laugh, we defend our world, and we fight for what is right. We do what she would have done. Homesteaders, hunters, heroes all, to air! To air! <laughs> Great warrior and friend. Great spirits. Goodbye, air. Yep, that was it. I talked to Newt White Bear. Commander, this just arrived for you. Oh. Well, they really know how, where to find me, don't they? Hi, hi, hi. I've got something fantabulous to show you. Get here as soon as you can. There's a gate set up in Radha Zoom, but it's top secret. 
Fortunately, you know me. Go to Ratasum and look for the Adventure 8 ZK496i column. It knows to let you in. Okay, Radanovas. Uh, got it. Uh, off to Radanovas, I guess. Read letter and then talk to Ritlock first. Okay. Looks like I'm off to Radanovas. Ritlock, care to follow? Hmm. Sure, but I need to take care of something on the way. Or rather, tell someone I won't be taking care of something. Never mind. I'll meet you there. Sure. Rox, Ritlock talked me into founding a new guild. It'd be great to have you. And pass the invitation on to Bram when you see him. Hmm. Actually, don't. I'll do it in person. I don't want him to think we're merely replacing Destiny's Edge after his mother's death. I get it. And I think he will too, when the time's right. Ah, the foreshadowing. Alright, completed that. Perfect. Uh, let's see... I do... Oh, there we go. Now we have warm water. Kind of. I can't interact with it. That is quite, quite annoying. Oh, that is annoying. <laughs> Just can't. I mean, I need to talk to Garm first. No. Condolences for your loss. Air's death has shaken me. I wonder if the dragon will Wow, this is this is this is annoying. Anyways, off to Ratasum, I guess. Uh, is that gonna pop up every time? Click the hero button to assign specializations. Alright, let me check that out really quick. Alright, fix that. Now on our way to Ratasum. Uh, what is the quickest way to get there? Uh, probably just uh, hop on over. I don't have a waypoint over there. So what we'll do is... Alright, we made it to Ratasum. I have the robot right over here. Let's uh, talk to him. You are recognized, Geron Carmine. Please proceed through the gate here. There you go. I'm not authorized to answer that question aloud, and I do not have telepathic abilities. Yet. <laughs> Please proceed. Your safety is relatively assured. I I guess we're going through. Researching Rod on Ovis. Researcher. One second, please. Security breach detected. Come on, what are you doing? Responding with. Oh, for crying out loud. Well, I already wrecked it. Sorry about that. Self-defense and all. Hi, Timey. Timey. Sorry. I am your master. Don't worry about it. All say? this crunchy old Stop. tech's been overstimulated by the influx of magic. Don't Glad you're here. Yeah, I got your letter. Funny. I also sent one to this guy, but he barely made it. Your note failed to mention how to navigate this Asuran playground. He got lost trying to find the lab. I had to follow the non-stop stream of char expletives to track him down. Sin of the future, my tail. Uh. It's good to see you. I was so happy when I saw your mission was a success. But then I heard about Marshal Traherne. He saved us all. His sacrifice won't soon be forgotten. And there. Good news, too. Ritlock says we're starting a new guild. So exciting! Glad you're on board. Of course you are! Someone has to be the brains! <laughs> kidding! In all seriousness, though, I suspect some of the things I'm working on in this place will come in very handy. How have you been doing here? Great! It's fantastic! Well, it was before every Asura and their grand mentor showed up. At least you have a lot of hands to pitch in at the Dragon Park. 
What do you mean, Commander? I've never heard of this room you describe. Keep it down about the Dragon Lab. I don't want anyone finding out about it. Especially... Hello, progeny. Counselor Flood, how lovely timing. to see you. <laughs> I'm so pleased you didn't end up on a Chalk's breakfast menu this morning. Uh, you can stow the dim insults. They'll never be clever enough to wound me. Now, have there been any new developments today? Why, none that I can think of. Allow me to warn you about keeping secrets from me, progeny. My wrath is as fierce as my intellect. Oh, that sounds terrifying. I wouldn't <laughs> dream of hiding something from you, Counselor. <laughs> oh, God. The sarcasm. Loved it. All right, I'm totally hiding something from him. <laughs> yep. Let's head there now, but not the way you know. We're going through the gate. I've configured it to appear as if we're going to the command center, but we're really going to you know where. Except there's a catch. You have to outsmart the security measures. You're joking, right? Not this time. Give it a shot and I'll observe. See if you can crack the code. I'll give you a hint. Do exactly as you're told. Do exactly as you're told. Oh, Lord. Okay. Um, the console appears old, but it has obviously been cleaned up. Attempt to solve the puzzle. Unidentified user. Security measures activated. A, a yellow, purple, red. Yellow. Purple, red. Phase one of five, complete. One of five. Oh my god. Red, yellow, purple. Red, yellow, purple. Phase two, complete. Yellow, red, blue, purple. Yellow, red, blue, purple. Get two more. I can do this. I can do this. Purple, blue, yellow, red. Jesus! Purple, blue, yellow, red. Okay, one more. Green, blue, red, purple, yellow. Green, blue, red. Oh, that's just going off the line. Okay, that's easy. Got it. Super Bowl. Okay. That's our cue. You crack the code. Let's go. I'm a genius. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, enter, Timmy. Wait for you on the other side. There we go. Sorry to put you through that. I need to keep people who may or may not be named Flunt out of here. Understandable. Now that the subterfuge is out of the way, can we get to what you called us here for? Yes, this is a replica of the Leyline energy map we found outside of Tarir. I've been tracking the movement of magic since Mordramoth's death. It's been in total chaotic flux. Here, there, everywhere. See, that dot is the egg chamber. It lit up like a Lunar New Year firework after the dragon went bye-bye. But as you can see here, the egg's doing great. What are we looking at? A feed of the egg chamber? Yeah, the Exalted and the Rada Novans shared a ton of information. They must have helped them design their security system. And then you broke into it? No, I utilized it to check on the egg. Broke into so it. Broke into it. <laughs> hey, we're all friends, right? I don't think they'd mind. Just, maybe just don't mention it around any floaty gold people. Do you have access to surveillance all over Tarir? Back to the Leyline map. So this other point is... Huh, that's new. The northern bloodstone dot is flaring up. I'll have to keep an eye on that. The spot where Mordremont died looks like it's cooling down a little. Yeah, a lot of that energy's been put back into the system. I'm trying to model its patterns, but this map isn't built for detailed readings. Yet. In the meantime, look at this. In the meantime, look at what? What are we looking at? 
what is it? Not to toot my own warbler or anything, but I killed a chalk or two in my time alone here. Since the others don't know about this place, I couldn't ask to have defenses installed. So they pop up every once in a while when the lab's drawing a lot of power. Not for crying out loud. Oh yeah, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll take care of them. You gotta stop eating cookies in your lab. I think they smell the organ I harvested. Might be one of their kin. That's an organ. Oh, Christ, Jamie. Coming. It ain't nap time yet. Well, wait just for us, my boy. All right, let's go, big boy. Yep, I figured as much. You, you. Okay, Diamond, we need to have a word. Way to exterminate! Don't worry about their goo. I'll clean that up later. Anyway, this thing is some sort of organ I found in one of the larger ones. It's part of their digestive system, and as you know, they feed on lay energy, so it got me curious. Any valuable findings yet? None I can explain right now. I ran some lay energy through it, and it came out different on the other side. Different? I'm not really sure how just yet. It was barely measurable with the equipment I have. I need to develop some other device to actually observe the phenomenon. What's that sludge you're keeping it in? Lighting pod fluid. Remember that stuff? It has wonderful preservative and even restorative properties. Fluid? From the blighting pods? The things that made horrible mortem abominations out of corpses? Huh. So you do remember it. Timey, do you think maybe that might be a bad idea? Uh, you worry too much. In research, there's no reward without risk. And if I'm gonna stay one step ahead of everyone outside this lab, I have to take a lot of risks. But one thing I can't risk is staying away from the main lab too long. It arouses suspicion. Let's go. Blighting pod fluid. I got your back. You first. Curious, explore the upper platform before you leave. Okay, okay. I wasn't curious before, but reading that, I am curious now. device activated, touch each time you want to hear a short snippet from the other room. Don't worry about Tiny beating us to it. Blunt assured me he has her under his thumb. From what I hear, Tiny has an advantage. I'd excel if I had Zoja the mentor crew. Uh-huh. Did you see where Tiny and that odd crew of hers went? Okay, okay. Yeah, we gotta get back because they're getting suspicious. Whoop, the daisy. Luckily, I'm a cat. I landed on all fours. Stand down. It's just Tiny's friends again. Anyone? Hey, General Almora. Hey, General. General Soul Keeper, this is quite a surprise. What brings you to Radonovus? You do, Commander. I've come here to offer you a new position within the Pact. Oh. The Marshal rank is, uh, vacant. And we want you to fill it. Oh. This is an honor. I'm glad you view it in that light. The Pact is hanging on by a thread. I see. I can tell you're having your doubts, so let me just be upfront about the role. Certain packed elements feel like Marshal Traherne's mistake was going out into the field and getting himself killed. The new Marshal Not exactly what happened. In an office in Lion's Arch, still leading the troops, but out of harm's way. Or being a pen pusher. As flattered as I am by your offer, I'm going to have to respectfully decline, General. 
After our Morjamoth battle, I believe I, Ridlock, and the others would be more effective operating as our own guild. I understand the decision on your early retirement, although I'm disappointed. I still believe in the Pact's goal. I do too. And I'll always be ready to lend a hand. It'll just be outside the system. Out from under a mountain of paperwork, you mean? And that. Oh. Laugh it up, no eyes. I have something for you, too. A letter from the Black Citadel. You must have really brushed some higher-ups the wrong way. What did you do now? <laughs> Are you sure you want to just crumble that no. up and throw it away? <laughs> Why not? It's what I did with the last two. That robot just... What did I hear? You're not in the pact anymore? <laughs> Wait, what do I call you? Booba? Uh, no. How about we just stick with Commander for now? Technically, it's a title for life. So you're welcome to it. Um... That doesn't that? sound good. That didn't sound good. Quick, let's go see what's happening. Oh, Christ. Can we have a normal day without anything going wrong? People being murdered. All right, we gotta go down. Protect the counselors! Run! It's a crazy Silvari! Crazy Silvari? Please get the dragon man Timing. away from me! Oh, get can I? One of your friends. <laughs> what happened? I came in through the caves because I couldn't find the gate. I wasn't expecting such an enthusiastic welcome. Did you see that? Blood was so mad, even his fleas jumped ship. Enough? You're my hero. Why the surprise visit? I'm here answering the call. But Mordromoth's dead. We killed... Oh, it's not the jungle dragon's call. This time it's Anise's. Still holds your billet, huh? She does, but certain messy events have transpired, and I'm assured that if I clean them up, my billet will be released, and I'll once again be free from any yoke. How can I help? Minister Codicus recently <clears throat> left the Queen's protective custody. A niece sent me in a squad of Shining Blade to help the good minister find his way back to Divinity's Reach. Got it. Any idea on his whereabouts? There's been a flare-up of White Mantle activity in Northern Maguma, and intel points to him possibly heading there. That's the crazy magical hotspot we saw, up by the Bloodstone. I thought the Minister claimed to not be in bed with those Mursat lovers. Didn't we all? Ridlock, get word to the others. Marjorie might be getting a little restless in Divinity's reach and want in on the action. Commander, if you like, you can hitch a ride on my airship. It's on our way. We can drop you off. Now that's an offer I can't turn down, General. Perfect. I'll grab my Shining Blade detachment and meet you there. Okay. All right. Um, Kanak. What a day. It's almost enough to make a person feel unwelcome. Queen in Divinity's Reach has a royal pantaloons in a bunch. Humans have a history with the white mantle, you know? It's not been pretty to watch. Anise has her hatchet face it's on. I slipped through human history class. Can I ask you some questions? Very What's the white mantle's background? They used to rule Krita long ago. They worshipped ancient beings called the Mursad, who were powerful magic users. The white mantle were their palms. Long lived magical, mean to the bone, and extinct. Tritons wiped them out, won the war, and took back their kingdom under Queen Salma's leadership. Resurrect? Intel tells me they're in northern Maguma, running experiments with the Bloodstone. I know their type. They want power, and they'll do whatever it takes to get it. Okay. Uh, why are the White Mantle suddenly so active? They've been biding their time in rebuilding their numbers and influence, and it'd be smart to attack when their enemies engage in a multi-front war with dragons. Plus, our allies, the Pact and Silvari, have been greatly weakened. Pact and Silvari. Uh, we can't discount the increase in magic. Everything I know about them indicates they're creepy magickers. Okay. Alright. Let's get underway. Yeah, let's. Oh, we're actually headed to the Bloodstone Fen already. I thought we were passing by Divinity's Reach first. Okay. I'll take it.
Commander's destination ahead. Looks like we're in for quite a ride. We're not flying into that scramble, are we? My gods, grow a backbone! Scared of a little weather? That doesn't look like a little bit of weather. That is a full-flown magic storm. Oh, snap. Oh, it's imploding. Oh, damn. On your feet. We survived. Somehow. Okay, so that area exploded and then it imploded. That is curious. All right. Research in Rada Nova's completed. Except, uh, perform reconnaissance in what's left of Bloodstone Fen and begin investigating the cause of the Bloodstone's destruction. Speak with General Soulkeeper. Yes. Yes, let's do that. That was insane. Let's go and have a word. Our forward propulsion shorted out. What, what, what was that? I think. It's hard for me to actually say, but I think a bloodstone just exploded. A bloodstone? Then how are we still alive? Good question. But others might not have been so lucky. I'm going down to scout for survivors, see if I can piece together what happened and why the blast reversed itself. Watch your back and let me know what you find out. We'll try to get this bird running again. Mm. You're not supposed to meet me here. Hope he and his troops were out of range. Investigate the large chunk of bloodstone below the citadel. What is the citadel? Is this the... What is the citadel? Okay, so let's see. Scout the floating citadel and reach the arena at the top of the tower. Investigate. Okay, search the surface for survivors. Search the nearby cave for survivors. So these two are at the exact same height. Do we see a citadel kind of thing? Oh, that looks like a citadel. All right, let's go over there. Look at that view. Uh, let me explore this first. Colosseum of the Faithful. Whoa. The blast released spirits. Oh. They may be sacrificial victims of the White Mantle. My ancestors reviled those evil badgers. <laughs> they tried to exterminate my ancestors, but tortured their own people as well. These spirits were twisted by what they went through. Yeah, probably. Only. <laughs> Alright, let me grab this waypoint while I'm here. Actually help me. Uh, investigate the large chunk of bloodstone below the citadel. Large chunk of bloodstone. Is it that? It has to be, yes. A large chunk of the bloodstone still intact. And these foul things. This bloodstone must have been larger than anyone imagined. Oh. What could have caused it to explode? Fairly deadly Oh. That's a place to land. Anyways, let's uh, search the surface and then the nearby cave. Hell is attacking me. White mantle, but they're different. The magic is mine. Be ready to run. Oh my God, they're annoying. They just keep moving.
Okay, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna keep moving. Try to at least... These white mantle are absolutely crazy. Need to get out. I need to find the nearby cave. Oh, God damn it! Is that the cave? That has to be the cave. Uh, members of the pact. Blood, bloodstones. Slit uh -oh. your throat. Commander, Commander, are you still alive? They've been consumed by bloodstone magic. They deserve a better fate. That they do. Alright, we need to continue our search for some survivors, so let's go and continue on north. Speak with squad leader Bennett. Seen an explosion collapse on itself like that. Yeah. The magic was inches from my face, and then it suddenly shot into the ground. You think a dragon was responsible? I'm not sure yet. That's what I'm here to investigate. I want to get into that crater and find out why the blast reversed and where the magic went. Easier said than done. The area is swarming with white mantle. We sent a patrol, but only one soldier made it back, and she's uh not well. What's wrong with her? She was hit with magic unlike any we've seen. On the outside, she's fine, but it twisted her inside something fierce. She can barely move. Oh. She's been raving about floating purple stone monsters ever since she got back. Stone creatures? That rings a white mantle bell. Can you reach the Priory and see what they know about them? Sure thing, Commander. Have you seen Kanak? He's a Silvari. Tough, but well-spoken. Medium build, a bit cranky. <laughs> Can't say that I have. But I did see Kate run through here like a centaur on fire. She didn't stop for anything. Just hauled tail through the war zone and was gone like that. Thank you. I'll let the general know you're down. Inside my head. They're inside me. What is Kate doing here? Uh, we have an or skill keeping magic you alive? collection. I have one entire blood ruby. Nice. I'm terrified to close my eyes out here. No one trusts me anymore. Couldn't do anything for them. The blast rotted their core. It's unlike anything I've seen. Any attempt at reversing the damage was futile. Mm. They're gone, Commander. Shells of their former selves, driven by an unquenchable thirst for more power. Amaze me to say it, but I fear the only treatment is death. Doesn't seem enraged like the others. No, she was outside of the blast with the rest of us. Whatever she was struck with was different. She's still herself, but suffering so much. She's called for treatment, as it were. Oh. Oh, wow. Alright, so we need to get to uh, General Soulkeeper back up. On the airship. So let's go and do that, talk to her, let her know what's going on down here. Is it as bad as it looks down there? Worse. It's not good. White Mantle hit in the blast are mad with hunger for magical energy. They gather any scrap they can find. The White Mantle? Could they have done this? And to what end? I don't know. Maybe it was an experiment gone wrong. Maybe it was supposed to empower all of them and it went awry. Whoever it was, we owe them our gratitude. That blast would have hit Lion's Arch, and they just rebuilt the place. I'd hold off on the thanks until we know what their motive is. There's a pack squad down there. They've already established a camp and are trying to get a foothold in the area. That's what I like to hear. Well, it's not all good news. Some other Pact members were also caught in the blast. Just what the Pact didn't need. More dead soldiers. They're not dead. But they've been twisted by bloodstone magic, just like the White Mantle. They don't deserve that. They deserve peace. I understand. 
I'd want the same if the roles were reversed. Thank you, Commander. Okay. Well then, uh, let's accept this. Move to the bow of the airship for better reception to receive Tammy's message. Okay, okay. Come in. Can you read me, Commander? Loud and clear, Tammy. Finally, there's been tons of magical interference. Been difficult to get a clean line to you. Okay, I've been going yeah, well, over you should some see data the place. coming in from the blast area, and one thing stands out. The people who were within the blast radius who, um, survived? They need to consume the magic to live, but the magic's also driving them more and more insane. Oh. That must be why I've seen them snatching up bloodstone shards. Hmm, then they have to have a way to harvest the magic inside. Yeah, I wonder how. I'll track down where they're taking the shards for harvest and see what they're using. Commander, over. Did you mean Commander out? It's okay. Communicator protocol takes a little getting used to. Timey out. Thank you, Timey. Find out what the White Mantle are doing with the Bloodstone Fragments. Yes, we will do that next episode, though, because this is going to be it for this one. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to boop that like button and subscribe if you haven't yet. Until the next one, though. Take care, my friends.